Welcome back to Etherton on Air. I'm Brianna Hinkle. And I'm Isaac Stroud. It's now time to stand for the pledge or observe a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here's what's trending. Attention underclassmen. Today is the last day to vote for class officer elections. Make sure to place your vote by 2.30 in your grade level Google Classroom. Tomorrow is Slipper Day. Wear your comfiest slippers to school to show your support for AAPI Month. Interested in exploring the Mediterranean coast this summer? Scan the QR code shown on screen to enroll in the meeting taking place tomorrow in room 209 from 6 to 7 p.m. All students will be granted a $400 discount. Atherton Senior Class is hosting a fundraiser. Send a flower, say goodbye. Roses are available at any lunch up until Wednesday for just $3. Flowers will be sent to your selected student or teacher during second period this Thursday. This Friday is College T-Shirt Day. All seniors are encouraged to wear a T-shirt that features your college or post-secondary plans. Club photos for the yearbook will be taken on Wednesday from 1240 to 210. If you'd like to have a photo of your club in the yearbook, be sure to schedule a time with the yearbook staff. Exchange students from Japan are coming in August and Dr. Klumper needs 10 host families. Host families are required to host a student from August 8th to August 15th. If your family is interested, please contact Dr. Dr. Klumper through the email posted below or stop by room 206. Attention seniors, if you have not ordered a cap and gown, see Mrs. Medley in the counseling office immediately. Ravens cheer tryouts take place on Wednesday from 3 to 4.30. Be sure to attend with an updated physical and in an athletic attire. Congratulations to Maddie Deal for winning the Congressional Art Competition. She will get a free trip to Washington, D.C., two tickets to Gazebo Fest, and her artwork will be displayed in Capitol Hill for a year. This month is Asian Americans and Pacific Islander History Month. The theme for this month is Advancing Leaders Through Innovation. Throughout the month, we will highlight the contributions and facts of Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Island people from all periods of U.S. history. You can also find a Spotify playlist and social media accounts that will help you celebrate AAPI all year long. Did you know that bubble tea was originated in Taiwan in the early 1980s? Bubble tea then began to spread throughout not only the U.S., but the world as well. Local shops in Singapore would sell around 1,000 cups a day. We're always looking for new story ideas here at Atherton on Air. If you have any story ideas or announcements, contact Mr. Boros through the email posted below or stop by room 126. Last week, forensic science students started their arson unit. Let's hear from Ms. Green to see what they're up to. In. Um, so to kick off this last unit, um, all the students, they um, build some houses, they've got some parameters, it has to be two stories, has to have a roof, entryway, all that stuff, and they come up with a storyline, and then they pick where the um, burn starts, and then they make observations on the different burn patterns, um, whether or not the fire moves up or down or across, what materials burn faster than others, etc. And then we'll use that information as kind of a jumping off point for our arson unit. Building it was um, a lot of fun actually because we spent a few in class days, class days doing it where we got to work with popsicle sticks and cardboard and stuff and ultimately there weren't enough materials so I just brought um, a bunch of popsicle sticks myself and spent way too much time making a bed frame and a wardrobe that was way too complicated but I was really happy to see it burn so Awesome! Seems like we have some future firefighters. Or fire preventers. Anyways, on to Caden Lewis with the word of the day. Today's word of the day is perpetrate, to keep something going. The moderator did his best to perpetrate the heated debate between the two candidates. Thank you. In honor of this school year coming to an end, Atherton On Air would like to celebrate our seniors' unique qualities and achievements. And what better way to do so than with this year's senior superlatives? Congratulations to Zoe Lambden and Trayvon Willis for Class Clowns, Dorothy DeWeese and Perla Delgado for Most Changed since freshman year, Emily Paul and Javante Wales for Most Likely to Go to the Olympics, Spencer Marks and Luke Jazorski for Most Likely to Win the Hunger Games, Kylie Preston and Princeton Norris for Most Likely to Be Famous, Luke Watkins and Madison Hoffman for Best Dressed, Ethan Schwartz and Lakin Whitehead for most likely to be in the FBI. Harper Hall and Darius Jackson for most likely to be president. Emily Salcedo and Gavin Schmucky for best of media arts. Madison Harvey and AJ Nelson for best of engineering. Anessa Jolich and Amelia Connolly for best of health science. Annie Parks and Benjamin Barrow for best of performing arts. Daria Drake and Lucy Zachary for Best of Instrumental Arts. Silvana Schliffer and Olivia Baker for Best Sisterhood. Michael Cortas, Jonathan Fantoni and Noah Walsh for Best Brotherhood. And finally, congratulations to Duncan Irwin and Allie McBride for Most School Spirit. That's all for this year's Senior Superlatives. Happy birthday to Luca Ross. That's all for Atherton Air. I'm Brianna Hinkle. And I'm Isaac. Rock, Rock on, on, Ravens. Ravens.